I told him, I said, Moses, pull your shoes off. Yeah. Why? Because that mountain was holy? No, because God was in, the, in that mountain. Yeah. His presence or his personality was on that mountain. So therefore, that mountain became a holy place. So Moses, pull your shoes off. Anytime you come to the church of God, you have to conduct yourself in a certain way. Preach. You don't come in the house of God uh, slouched over. All right, Mr. Teach. Hat twisted backwards, uh -huh. hip hop. <laughs> Pants on the ground. Uh -huh. You don't come to God's house like that. Yeah. Call in, come in God's house respectable. Yeah. And you set up, try to set up me. Yeah. Why? I'm in God's house. That's right, Bishop. Hallelujah. We have to understand the atmosphere that is created by the saints of God in his house reflects who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. So let's understand that. There has to be lines drawn. If I got a dog and I love him, I got a cat, I love him, I got a horse and I love him, keep him at home. Amen. Don't bring him to church. What? I'm going to church to praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I just throw that in extra. I'm trying to let you understand something. God has a regimentation for all things. And he states everything is done decently and in order. Amen. When I come to church, I say yes, sir, no, sir. Amen. To my leader. That's right, Amen. Why? Because the Bible says he's worthy of double honor. Double honor. There you go. Amen. At my enrollments, uh, and I hope uh, Reverend Carlton Fixon can follow me. Again, I want you to take note in verse 24. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Uh-huh. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Changed the truth of God into a lie. God made male, he made female. God made male, and he made female. Amen. Anytime you change that order, and say God made something in between, God made a sissy or God made a lesbian, you're making God's word and his order concerning humanity, you're making it a lie. Because when he made humanity, he told them male and female and joined them together in holy matrimony and told them go out and replenish the earth, multiply, have babies, have children. Sissies can't have no babies, Reverend Carlton. Amen. Lesbians can't have no children Amen. unless they adopt them. <laughs> and woe be to the children who are adopted by lesbians and sodomites. Woe be unto them. I pray for their being. Because they need prayer. Amen. Amen. I'll, say, I'll say again, a sodomite cannot be separated from a pedophile. That's right, Prophet. Cannot be separated. Cannot. I hope Reverend Carlton Pearson hear me. I dare you to challenge me. Yes. Amen. I dare you to. Amen. 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 God gave them over to vile affection, verse 26. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affection, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working mm. that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. Yes. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. They didn't like to retain the word of God in their knowledge. Amen. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. A reprobate mind, which means an evil mind. A mind that has not the understanding of God. Now I want you to drop down to verse 32. Catch this real close. Amen. Who knowing the judgment of God. Knowing the judgment of God. That they which commit such things. They that commit such things. Are worthy of death. Hallelujah. Amen. God said they're worthy of death. That's right, Amen. God. Amen. That's not Old Testament. That's New Testament. That's the book of Romans of Reverend Carlton. That's the book of Romans, uh, chapter 1, verse uh, 32. Read it for yourself in the King James Bible. Amen. If you read slow, let me read it again. Amen. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things, and the text is sodomy and lesbian behavior, knowing that the judgment of God, they that do such, commit such things, are what? Worthy of death. Watch this now. Watch the latter part now. Amen. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that, that do them. The ones who support them That's right. are worthy of death. Y'all read that latter part? Amen. 
Let me read it again. Not only do the same, which means the people who do it, but have pleasure in them that do them. Amen. In other words, those who go along with the program, those who support them, even though they may not be a sodomite or a lesbian, but they go along with the program, that makes them worthy of death too. Of course, the word of God. Amen. Of course, the apostle of God. Of course, the man God yes. said. Amen, Bishop. Amen. Now, let me call up the panel. Amen. Amen. I think I said a good preceding. Uh, 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 Evangelist Purdue, Evangelist Willis, uh, Evangelist Galantine, and uh, let's have uh, Evangelist Evans. Amen. Amen. Oh, Evangelist Willis. Praise the Lord. Lord. I give uh, all honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. I'd like to give double honor to our wonderful prophet, yeah. Bishop Edwin. Amen. Amen. I'd like to give honor to the Lord and to thank God for this panel tonight. Amen. And um, I'm going to um, open up in Deuteronomy, the 7th chapter, verse 6, which is our main text for this evening. And it reads, For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a special people to himself yes. above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Simply stating that means that, you know, God has set aside a special people. Special or peculiar means different. means different than what you see in the world today. It means something about them stands out. And I want to go over to, um, I believe it's our subtext, to uh, 1 Peter 2 and 9. And um, that reads, says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. There's that word peculiar again. That you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now for God to call you out of something, there must be something that the world has gotten themselves into. All right. A way of life that is not acceptable for God to be brought into a lifestyle that is acceptable for, for God. And that is an um, acceptable and holy lifestyle. And, um, you know, there's new people that come against us here at True Light because we try to live that holy and acceptable lifestyle. We teach, you know, the things that are not. And we can't find the Bible we don't teach. And I know earlier the, the prophet brought out, you know, people coming against him on YouTube. Well, you know, the only thing I have to say to that is until you can walk in his shoes, you shouldn't. You need to sit down and keep your mouth shut. Because he has been called by the Lord of God. He has been chosen. If you look back in time, you know, there's only been one person called for each dispensation of time or each time period. And in this dispensation, that just happens to be Prophet Walker. And, um, and it's a lot less than what he teaches. Um, if you could just spend one day doing just half the things that Prophet Walker does, um, <clears throat> your mind would be too bogged down. You wouldn't be able to comprehend. You wouldn't be able to keep up. So until you can rightly divide this word, you need to sit down and be under a real teacher and in a real church, and that is true like Pentecost Church here in Spartan. Yes. Yes.
unless he's trying to take up for Eddie Long, y'all need to really know who's taking up.